at this time, we like to bring up our magician and mentalist, yep. Mio. We're going to start with some coin magic, which I didn't really realize how many people were going to be here. So this first thing will be hopefully we'll see what we can do with it. Um, and these are silver dollars. There's one. Mm -hmm. You can hear they're solid. Six coins. And the sleeves are up. They're going to turn invisible one at a time. Three, four, five, six coins. First coin right to here. It hits there, I toss it, catch it, and that leaves five. Whoa. So if you miss it, I'll do it again five times. One, two, three. One here. Listen. Turn invisible. Toss. Catch. <laughs> that leaves four. That's one, two, three, four. Two here. Listen. And that's three. <laughs> three in the left, three in the right. I'll do them all. Wow. That was Whoa. all six. Woo! Wow. We'll put two in the pocket and add four cards. Which I just happen to have hidden under the box. There's all my, I know, but they're just regular cards, and four of them. Nice ones. And, uh, Last time the coins were in my palm, so a lot of people have said, Mio, that, that was really good, but they were in your hand. We're not sure what palming is, but we, we think we might have just seen it. Can you do it again? Don't touch the coins, though, this time. So here's what I came up with. I'll place a card with each coin. Don't blink or you'll miss it. We'll start here together on three. One. Here they come. Two. That's the first set. Oh, wow. Next one on the count of three. Ready? Go. Here's the last. I just lift. Oh, no. No, he didn't. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll do that no. last one again. Do the last one again. Feel free to stand up or come closer. <laughs> There's a whole row in front and it's empty. No, just for my show, part of it. Anyway, this last one goes back on three. Haven't done it yet. <laughs> Here we go. See, now it gets a little tougher, because now you're ready for it. So I'll place one, invisibly, right here. There's one. Here's two. And three. Now there's one under each. When I snap, they reappear. Get wow. out. Wow. <laughs> Bravo. Now, would, now, would you like to know how I was able to move around? while like, you're yeah. watching so close. Well, as it turns out, there was an extra coin. Did you see it? Under here. <laughs> it's huge. Hold it up. <laughs> it's a little bigger than the rest. <laughs> Amazing. But don't ask how I did it. Ask how I did it twice. That's the question. Ah! <laughs> Silver dollars, yeah. <laughs> Let's leave those there for a moment. How did you get started with magic, though? Well, no, I'm born and raised in New York City, though I don't live here anymore. I've lived, first 25 years I, I lived here, and uh, I've been doing magic professionally for 22 years, but I started when I was five years old. And my dad taught me magic. Both my father and mother uh, are theater folk. My mom actually was a dancer and was on Broadway for seven months while pregnant with me. Oh, and my father's a costume magic. designer. Yeah. <laughs> And then the, the name Mio design. is from a play called Winter Set by Maxwell Anderson. And so when I was born, I was given a stage name and within five years started to learn magic from a real magician. So. Oh, my goodness. That was the beginning of it. And when I was You didn't have a chance. No, I didn't. No. no. <laughs> Selling Fate insurance. Had its mind no. set up for me, I guess. <laughs> yeah, no insurance. Nine, no insurance. Nine to five didn't work out for me. Nah, nah. You gotta go. And you happen to be a 16, 18, 20, or a 22, then wouldn't that make you an above average woman? I've been up and down and over and out. And I. You're the melody that makes my spirit sing.